We are going to explore some sharks today. This book is called Sink Your Teeth Into Sharks. We're gonna look at the different kinds of sharks. This is a really good book for you to own because there's lots of extra to read, but we're gonna go through it and just kind of talk about the different kinds. It's written by Becker and Mayer. This book has a table of contents. Table of contents helps you find what you're looking for. So if you were looking for the page with tiger sharks, you'd know that's on page 18. So many sharks, so many teeth. There are more than 400 species of tight or types of sharks swimming in the world's oceans. They range in size from tiny deep sea dwarf lantern sharks, which are just over six inches long, about the size of a banana, to the huge whale shark, which is about 40 feet long and about the size of a school bus. Not every shark is big, fast hunting machine that kills and eats anything in its path. Some sharks are bottom feeders lying at the bottom of the sea waiting to snatch up prey. Other sharks are tiny and just take a nibble at a larger prey, such as whales. In fact, sharks' diets can be as varied as the types of sharks themselves. These are teeth, tons of teeth. Most sharks' jaws are filled with rows and rows of teeth. teeth. When one tooth falls out, the tooth in the next row moves into its place. Some sharks can lose about 35,000 teeth in a lifetime. Super sense, they have super hearing, smell, touch, and sight. Electro sense, sharks even have a special sensory organ known as the ampullae of Lorenzini. Through special jelly-filled pores in their head and along their body, sharks can sense weak electrical pulses from nearby creatures. This allows them to detect hidden prey, even creatures buried in the sand. This is the great white shark. They're the biggest predator fish in the sea. This is a bull shark. It lives in shallow, warm waters worldwide. Poor beagle, whoa. This is a cool shark. You might think this shark is a mini great white, but it's really its cousin. On One way to tell the difference between the two, aside from size, is that the poor beagles have a unique shape of their dorsal top fin. It forms a little tip before connecting to the shark, making it look a little separated. It also has a white or light gray area. Puerto beagles can show up when lots of sharks can't. Really cold waters. They're able to do this by keeping their body temperature that's warmer than the water around them. Sand tiger sharks. Sand tiger sharks have a mouthful of thin, sharp, spiny teeth. These teeth are great for snatching small bony fish, crustaceans, and squid to swallow whole. Zebra sharks. Seeing spots. You might think the zebra shark should be called a cheetah shark since it has so many spots, but baby zebra sharks have much more distinctive stripey look with bold bands of white and black. Cookie cutter shark. Look at those crazy teeth. This is a glow in the dark shark. Cookie cutter sharks get their name from the round cookie shaped bites they leave in their large prey, such as a whale and seals. The ventral side or belly of a cookie cutter shark are aligned with photophores, which are organs that produce a greenish light. Scientists think that these glow in the dark organs help the cookie cutter shark blend in with the light from the surface of the water and go unnoticed by prey or other predators. Tiger sharks, tooth on the cover. Shark bite files. Tiger sharks have saw-like teeth that are shaped like can openers. In one quick bite, they can easily crack the hand bone and shells, uh, hard bone and shells underwater prey like sea turtles. Greenland shark. The Greenland shark is the only Arctic species of shark and live in very cold waters, also known as a sleeper shark. It is a slow mover. In fact, the slowest shark in the sea. 
Some scientists think that these sharks swam so slowly that they can sneak up on snoozing seals who like to sleep in the water to avoid polar bears. Now that's one sluggish shark. Horn shark. Shark bite file. Horn sharks feed mainly on crabs and urchins on the sea floor. Their front teeth are pointed and sharp and the back teeth are flat. Their jaw helps them snap into prey and then grind up their hard shells as they crunch. Some scientists have reported that the horn shark teeth can turn purple when they eat lots of purple sea urchin. Black tip reef shark. The black tip reef sharks have sometimes been observed leaping out of water and over sections of reefs. Saw shark, look at this nose. The saw sharks have long organs that look like whiskers called barbels that they drag along the sand. Sensors in the barbells show them and help them locate prey. Basking shark, bite file. Basking sharks open their massive mouths, which can reach up to nearly four feet and swim to eat, stra straining small fish, eggs, and plankton through its little screens called gill rakers. Friller sharks, named for its frilly looking gill slits that allow it to breathe in great ocean depths. The frill shark is rarely seen alive. Long and eel-like, they usually surface only after they have died. These deep dwelling sharks are called living fossils because they have many primitive features that haven't changed in millions of years. Ew. Blue shark. Shark bite. The blue sharks have sharp pointy teeth with jagged edges, which help them catch slippery prey such as squid. They also eat fish and pretty much anything else that looks tasty. Wobble gong shark. Whoa. That dude looks weird. The wobble gong sharks are a type of carpet shark with flat bodies and mod mod modal pattern on their skin. These large sharks use their strange looks to their advantage. Their skin markings and frills help them blend into the sea floor and reef where they lie very still until prey swims by and then they bite. Ooh, thresher shark. Thresher sharks have small jaws and small teeth for their size, but they make up for it with their huge tail fin, which they use when hunting. Thresher, threshers mostly eat small fish like herring that swim in schools. The schools make it easy for the thresher to snap its whip-like tail. The Great Hammerhead Shark. The Great Hammerheads are the largest type of hammerhead sharks, identified by their straight wide heads. Their hammer-shaped noggins are called cephalophorus. Scientists think cephalophorus, cephalopholes have many different uses. They may help the shark swim better, sense prey more easily with spread out electrical sensors in their nose, or help them to pin down their favorite prey, stingrays. Yum. Goblin shark. The, when swimming, goblin sharks have a triangular profile, but when they attack, their jaws are shot forward by a special ligament, allowing their pointy teeth to snare fish, shrimp, and squid. Ew, he looks like he needs braces. Mega mouth shark. Very little is known about the rare shark. In fact, only 55 of them have ever been seen or caught since they were first discovered in 1976. Here's some of what scientists do know. Megamouth sharks live deep down in the water and may sometimes travel upward at night to feed. They have huge mouths, hence the name, and rubbery lips. They're not the best swimmers. They're kind of slow and awkward. Whale sharks. Whale shark's jaws can be up to five feet wide and hold about 300 rows of teeth. 
but those teeth are tiny and do not appear to play a part in the shark's diet. These super-sized filter feeders eat microscopic plankton or small schoolfish. An ocean of predators. There are about 400 species of sharks that swim in the oceans and more are being discovered all the time. This diagram shows the depth of which some of the sharks in this book have been observed in the world's oceans, from the great white, which cruises in open sea, to the tiger shark, which could swim close to the shore. The end.